JD from Ginger Ninja Craft and Ozzy. We were just walking past trying to eat things in my craft room, so I've picked them up. Okay. I am here with some happy mail. This didn't come in the post. Um wonder if he'll sit on my knee. Maybe. Oh yeah. yeah. Why don't you sit on this knee today? There you go. Okay, so I'm here for some happy mail. Distracted by kittens. I mean, who wouldn't be? Um, so the lovely Kim asked me to do a swap. I will link her in the description channel below. She does not have... Um, YouTube but she is on Instagram and um, so we agreed to do a pocket letter so I haven't got mine done yet because I'm kind of I'm thinking of doing it in March that was kind of when we were we were hoping to do it but Kim as always is organized so I've just taken stuff out of the envelope so I got these gorgeous insect stickers I love this little jar with the, like, what do you call them? Glow flies? Glow, I want to call them glow worms, but they're flying. Anyway, so there's crickets and bees and spiders and ladybirds and butterflies and all sorts on there. Thank you very much, Kim. Um, I just took this out of the packet so that I didn't rustle too much with it. Uh, so this is the Woodland Collection, 64 elements inside. So there is a whole load of, um, like, what do you call this? Are they die cuts? You know, like they're, you just have to pop them out. So there are some gorgeous rabbits, little field mouse, owls. I do love an owl. fox. I always think my ginger cat has tails like a fox's tail. Um, it's a beautiful deer. Back to the rabbit. Oh so there's two of each of those pages and then some lovely paper, um, patterned papers. So this has got foiling on it. There's tartan and there's feathers, florals. Oh and then some pages that I've got they're animals and birds so thank you very much I will enjoy using those um, <laughs> got this pack of embellishments so they're kind of various bits there's some ribbons some um, like sticky back foam eggs some little googly eyes and some more fun foam uh, so I think there is chicks and rabbits and more eggs I think in there so thank you very much I'm sure I will find a use for those and then these ones are fabric shapes so it looks like there is some bunnies and some eggs and they're nice floral floral print so yeah something a bit different and then these two cuties fell out it's this little chick and a bunny I should hang them up somewhere in here I'll hang them on my one of my lights for the moment. Now there's also two cards. This one says birthday card, so I will pop it over there for the the big day in a couple of weeks, two and a bit weeks. Um, and I will open up this one. Oh, jeez. I'm terrible. Oh, lovely. Well, 
quite nice. Little thank you for doing the swap. And these are, I don't know if they've been stamped or if they've been cut out of fancy papers. Not sure, but they're lovely. I like this little ribbon flag at the top. So thank you, Kim, for that. And then this is the um, pocket lighter, I'm presuming. So, let us see. Oh, lovely. You have a look and see. So I've got this gorgeous, like, it's like, um, it's like sort of tinsel wool. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but I love it. Okay, so we've got this one up here that's got blue skies. It's got some sparkly, um, sequins and some a little hummingbird and then a little a little one here with a heart and some sequins spring is in the air lovely day rainbows i love this little bunny hey bunny and this one in the middle said if friends were flowers i'd pick you and then love in full bloom here and then at the bottom we've got Smile Big Happy Easter. It's lovely with a basket. And Love Grows Here, Bloom Where You Are Planted, Bloom Baby Bloom. And then this beautiful floral one here which says Out in the Garden. Tell you what, I'm not out there today. It is absolutely chucking it down. <laughs> so that is the decorated side. And then in the back, we've got some chipboard eggs, so three different sizes of those. Um, now I did, I recently did a, like a mixed media Zoom class um, with the net from Pretty Gets Gritty. So after I did that, I kind of raided a lot of things I had and found all my sort of things that were like chipboard or like flat metal things and thinking about what I could use for a future project. Look at these cute little stickers. Oh, little lambs and a bee and Easter eggs and chicks and bunnies. Cute. And these two are very sweet. They're like little sort of felt, I think they might be sticky, might have an adhesive bit on the back. How cute are they, holding a little heart. Nice. And then I won't pull these out just because they might be a bit tricky to put back in. These gorgeous sunflowers and some kind of rainbow gems here and then there's some bigger sort of pale gold gems and then some little tied bows which is very handy little ribbon bows because I am rubbish at tying bows they never look very even I've got this gorgeous lace and then at the bottom These. They're like little wooden. Are they wooden? I think so. I think I had some of these that were little ladybirds before. Yeah. Little wooden bumblebees with like a little raised sticky dot thing on the back. Well, they would be cute on a card, wouldn't they? Oh, they're lovely. Oh. Thank you very much Kim, that is really kind and yours will be coming to you at some point in March. Um, so thank you for my card and for my goodies and for my birthday card which I'm sure will be lovely. Um, 
but I'll leave I'll save it for nearer the time. Or the big day itself actually. So yeah, thank you very much. Um, as I say, I will link Kim's a uh, uh, not YouTube Instagram in the description, and you can hop on over and see she shares some lovely things that she's been making, and she is a big swapper. She does a lot of swaps with people, um. So yeah, go and check her out. Um, so I hope that you are all keeping cosy. I just um just saw on Facebook before I came on that they're predicting snow from five o'clock here tonight so that's not so nice my husband's gone into town and he thinks I'm gonna pick him up at the station but if it's been thick snow my wee old Mike does not very good at getting up the road <laughs> so he might have to walk it's not that far it's like 20 minutes walk um but usually, if one of us has been on a night out with the, without the other one, then we'll go and pick them up at the station to be nice. You know, it's nice to be nice. But if it's been dinging down snow, then I hate to break it to him. He does. Hello. Oh, do you want to come and see hello? This is my big cat. Who hates being picked up. Oh, you're such a good boy. Mwah. That's Mr. Darcy, a.k.a. the Ginger Ninja. Um, who, I know I'm just wittering now, but who has got two new pals with the kittens? It is so cute. They, um, they have mastered climbing up on top of our bed. Which we were a little bit worried about because that's been kind of Darcy's territory. Like he can, he can go up there and sleep if he wants to get away from them because they're very busy kittens, you know. And Darcy's he's a bit older, gentleman. Um, however, the kittens have figured out how to climb up, and um, they were on the bed on a couple of nights ago. I have no idea what day it is, and Darcy hopped up, and I thought he might take one look and hop off again but he lay down there and Ozzy who's chilling out on the chair look at that Ozzy and Darcy were like lying looking at each other with touching paws while um, Angus was down at the bottom of the bed ignoring them <laughs> so my husband was in the bath so I sent him a photograph and said I don't know where you're sleeping tonight but the cats have taken over your side of the bed <laughs> so they did move and let them in uh, but yeah it was so cute so it's lovely it's like and he started being a bit more playful again Darcy I think because the kittens are playful and things so it's really nice um I hoped he would get on with them um but it's it's going better than I could have hoped for really it's lovely to see so so yes, so I mean, I am just wittering now about nothing to do with craft, so I'm going to stop and get this uploaded to say thank you to Kim, get some pictures taken as well, and um, yeah, I will see you. I've got a video scheduled for tomorrow of me doing a bit of playing with some alcohol inks and vellum, and then... Um, that will go up tomorrow. Can't remember when. Anyway, sometime tomorrow. Um, so yeah. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video and it's not been too too rambly. And I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.